putting up with the weird intro. I know. Un, 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 unexpected. You know, things happen sometimes. Um, people get sick with the flu. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah. a third of our studio gets sick with the flu. I, I don't know. There's there's a lot of <laughs> yeah, people it's cold. out right it's now. It's cold out there. Yeah. For, for Texas, it is. Yeah. For those that don't know, um, you know, get your flu shots. Um, you know, it doesn't prevent the flu, but it definitely prevents it from being terrible if you get it. But yeah, uh, hopefully everybody can hear us fine. Um, I try messing with the audio over there. Everything seems okay. We have a fair amount of things to go through today. Um, Oh, and the computer over here (laughs) almost went to sleep. That wouldn't have been fun. Um, But yeah, we we have more than a few things to talk about today. But I I think the first thing is, is everybody watching, thank you uh, for being here. And Thank you for joining us for this stream. Um, you know, we know it's been a bit since our last stream uh, with the craziness of launching early access, game. you know, yeah, launching yeah. out the door, and we're a small team. But uh, but I'm pretty happy so far. Um, you know, we've got a really great crew of players, and um, a lot of them are here in this chat. Pretty pretty, pretty smooth uh, yeah. launch. You know, only a couple, couple of downtimes. Yeah, I mean, we did have that one day where, unfortunately, we had a couple restarts. But the good thing was, because of those restarts, we were able to find the issue Isolate and then it. fix yeah. it that same day. Um, you know, so props to the, to the engineering team over there because, uh, you know, they've done a great job. And props to all of you. Seriously, this has been the biggest thing about our early access launch. Thank you for being patient um, and yeah. understanding of what early access is. Because, you know, the game is not done. Um, we are still adding to it. We are still following a lot of uh, what we plan to do as part of that roadmap. And with all of you being submitting your feedback to us and letting us know what actual problems there are in the game, we've been able to fix them both with the back end and the front end. Um, Also helps with like, I mean, there's a lot of stuff we want to add to the game and it helps with just kind of hearing from the community, the priorities and help and help restructure the priorities and what people are really gravitating towards and liking and wanting to see more of. And so we're leaning into that and our roadmap shows a little bit of it, but as well as uh, all the wonderful updates, one letter has been sending out there. I don't know what you're talking about. I I don't type anything yeah there's <laughs> you've been getting some shout outs here for thanks for keeping us updated one letter you know we're Good doing, job, we're doing what Good we job. can there's there's a there's a there's you know thousands of you out there yeah. and it's, it's and we're a small things. company you're a one-man team here. <laughs> I, <laughs> um, try uh, to do the dev thing and the publish thing yeah so um the one thing also <laughs> i like that people are noticing our bot name uh yeah we totally have the name veil vale demon on both twitch and mixer so yay um that's totally us but you know, nice. overall, um, it's fun. But why don't we? Why don't we? Now that we've been just, you know, shooting the the shoot as it goes. Uh, you know, let's keep this family friendly, right? Um, why don't we start covering kind of what we want to go through? We've got our little list here of uh, all the various things. So go for I, it. I think our big thing is just, you know, we're officially here. We're in early access. Why don't we just cover kind of, you know, how the how the first weeks been in terms of like for me i know personally um everybody on discord everybody on steam like we've been trying to help out as many people as possible that had issues either with um getting their game off steam um we fixed the issue with the pre-order codes we fixed the issue with the alpha and level 100 outfits that was that was a fun one i finally Um, got mine yeah so i was the last person to get mine yeah he for both the level 100 and the alpha outfit um he was in a weird group of players um, that we found. That's where I like to be. Yeah. Weird group of players. I'm just going to call you that from now on. I'll just <laughs> Every time I refer to you, it's weird group of players. But right, right, right. in our back end, we managed to find where, because, you know, thank you to everybody that kept asking us, like, where's my outfit? Where's my outfit? Because we did owe you that. And we fixed it. And, you know, now everybody should have it. If you do not have it, um, please file a support ticket, but we will be looking into your alpha account details. So like, don't say like, yeah, I got to level 100 in the alpha and didn't get my outfit and you were actually like level 20 because we'll know and then we won't give you the outfit. So, um, but everybody should have it now. We double and triple check the list, um, but make sure you have it. Also, just to confirm, because I see uh, OMG I love steak ass, there's a level 100 outfit. That's only for alpha. Um, so that was if you got to at least we actually shifted it down if you got to level 80 in alpha and that was because we had an XP bug in the last alpha before we went to early access and this compensated for that because we knew players worked their asses off to get to 100 especially some of them right at the end I think yeah. um, I think our buddy Tiger Stripe um, I'm going to shout him out really quick he got to 100 with like an hour remaining nice. in the final alpha so uh, way to go for him but yeah 
All right. Um, why don't we talk about, so we put out a blog post on, uh, I believe it was Wednesday night, Thursday morning, about um, what we're planning to do, like our three main um, our three main updates to the game and what we're looking to do based sure, yeah. on player feedback. So number one, we actually implemented this morning, which was the gold rewards update. Yep. Uh, do you want to talk about that really quick, about what we did and uh, the adjustments? Yeah, we added, we added another uh, 50% bonus to gold and XP uh, when you play co-op versus player and another 50% bonus to the, uh, to the boost as well. So mm -hmm. 100% overall bonus there. Um, we've got on the roadmap, we've got uh, the challenges system, which is also going to offer another way of getting more gold. Uh, it's, it's, it's essentially basically like an achievement type system thing, but a little bit cooler than the typical one. Uh, stay tuned for details on that. Mm -hmm. But... Um, yeah, so there's going to be stuff there. We're also going to put like outfits and decals and other rewards on the challenges system. Oh yeah, I'm going off. I'm going off topic here. It's okay. That's, that's what I do, script. by the way. That's what I do. <laughs> um, so yeah, so we're working on that and continuing to keep uh, um, kind of an eye on the economy and all that stuff and tuning the. The other thing is when we introduce our first new class, the Pyromancer, shortly, <gasps> we're going to be. We already know it's on the roadmap. I know. I'm just kidding. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> um, we're going to adjust the price of some of the uh, the classes. Um, it was a funny thing. When, if you got the starter pack, you got all the, the, the 2,000 gold classes. Mm -hmm. And so there was no other 2,000 gold classes to kind of grab onto. And so we're going to be adjusting some down to that level. Yep. Yeah. So uh, I, I want to go really back to the challenges really quick because to me that's an interesting thing because there are a couple people out there. Um, Karth, I'm going to shout you out really quick, that are – really high level already sure, um, yeah. you know they they've been going through all the classes and doing stuff we do have plans for those higher level individuals down the line because um, right now essentially once you get to eight there's nothing else to unlock on the classes but that's going to change in the future yeah we're gonna have cosmetic unlocks we're also gonna have like if you're at um, uh, a certain level in a class there'll be a special kind of tag on your class name and stuff like that for the class we're also going to be introducing a um, a win counter mm -hmm. um, that will reset maybe every two to three months that you can toggle on and off if you want your wins to track that'll also give you some uh, some flair on your name based on your win rates and stuff like that I need that yeah yeah because I'm never gonna get it my win rates gonna be like 20 percent. Well then, you're gonna you're gonna toggle it off. Yes. <laughs> um, so yeah, and that's that's part of that's actually kind of like the first step in the challenges system. But we're gonna we're gonna put and we're gonna kind of come out in phases with different aspects of that, um, as well as things like just pulling off like cool skilled maneuvers, kind of like boom shot. You know, using your 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 aimed boom shot in the air, maximum range, and killing an mm -hmm. elite target with that last shot. It's like you know you're gonna get some credit for that, a reward for that, things like that. So we've got a lot of uh, fun, exciting stuff planned on that front. Can I get a reward for doing an emote right as the final shot is delivered to the end level boss? To be able to do an emote? It, yeah, because I want to do The sort of end, end game sequence, there's a lot of polish <laughs> elements that we want to do there um, as well. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. I want to be doing the turtle shuffle while one of my teammates delivers a final and blow. Just, and just, and and just, just force just, the whole team to focus on you and watch you do it. Yep, and I'm just walking around <laughs> doing this. Yeah, no, we, yeah. we really want to do that as well. <laughs> that would be fun. See there, Lobo is with me. I want an achievement for doing the turtle dance in a game 100 times. Achie achievement for everyone in the uh, Library of Alexandria doing a turtle dance at once. Send in, send in a video of that. That would yeah. be fun. I mean, maybe, you know what, maybe, hmm. Maybe we should find an alpha, a, uh, an emote that we can get every, like, because there's a whole bunch of emotes that everybody has right now. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can find one that everybody has. I mean, granted, you know, we appreciate everybody who purchases the emotes and wants to be there. But, you know, I'm down for a full turtle shuffle. Like, I will figure out a way to make that happen with, with everybody. So. <laughs> the question is, who can do the turtle shuffle in real life? Well, That's, uh, that our cameras some... are a little zoom, zoomed in here, so it might be difficult to show. So not now. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I should note, um, I did get a request from our community. This is one of my favorite requests. They asked if we had actual um, mocap video from our animators capturing the turtle dance. Yeah, no. So our animators, uh, one of them actually has his own mocap suit, mm -hmm. and some of them, uh, some of the animations, they start with that. Yep. Here, Whether I'm going to raise your mic a little bit just because okay, you're a little okay. low. There all you right, go. All, right, all good. Um, wait, there's a rule set, right? Isn't it something <laughs> like this? Yeah, you want it to be in front of you, about that far away. All right, all right. Remember the King's Speech? Did you yeah, ever watch yeah, that movie? Yeah, that's right. That was a yeah, good movie. You went like, yeah. All right, all right. 
Um, I won't remember this. As we get so back into through. this, I'm going to be creeping. Yeah, but uh, uh, I'll ask them. I'll ask them if they do because I know they, they start with it. So I actually have an answer because I oh, walked over there right yesterday on. and asked. That was not motion capped. That was hand animated. That was key. Oh, the turtle animated. dance? I'm yeah, sure. I'd one. be surprised if any of them can pull that off. Oh, I want uh, See, I was so actually, disappointed when actually they told Mark me Actually, Mark probably could. He's pretty athletic. Yeah, Mark definitely could. Um, I was so disappointed, though, because even, granted, it shows how good our animators are. Mm -hmm. But at the same point, I wanted to see the footage of, like, all the failed attempts at trying to do the turtle shuffle. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. would have been hilarious. Anyway. Um, so, so okay, so we we that was the turtle shuffle bullet point. What's the next bullet point on the list? <laughs> that uh, on yeah. So the next, let's see. Let's cover uh, hero and VD only um, queuing. I heard that no one wanted that, so yeah. I don't know. No, <laughs> um, we, no we are well aware yeah, yeah. that um, it's been a highly requested feature from a lot, and we even knew that during early access. Um, yeah, or, yeah. Sorry, not early access, during alpha. alpha. Yeah, yeah. Um, that, Tor that towards was the end there especially. So, yeah, no, it's at the top of our priority list. We're working on it right now, um, and we hope to have it out in, like, the next couple of weeks. No, no promises on that exactly, but that's like what we're targeting. Yeah, two, we, two we, three weeks. The key thing to know about that is it's not just flipping a switch and suddenly it works. Um, yeah, there's back end stuff with the matchmaking to get all that yep. going. And the other thing is we're also still looking at um, what's happening to matchmaking queues and everything because we've only been live for a little over a week, you yeah, know, in yeah. early access. So yeah. we want to make sure that queues are still, you know, palatable and that uh, everybody's finding a match because obviously turning that on is going to change how queue times work. It, could be both positive and negative, but we want to make sure that we're. Well, yeah, but I mean, and, and if players opt into it, they opt into it. The, um, yeah. yeah, yeah. So that is definitely one of our higher priorities uh, on our list, and the other priority is also just. Uh, General optimizations and settings updates. And by the way, we're going to get to a couple more user questions in a bit. We just want to cover a few things. So to all of you asking questions, we will get to them shortly. We just want to cover a few things. I am seeing the questions as they go by. We're seeing both Mixer and Twitch. So feel free, wherever you're watching us, feel free to, uh, to ask your questions go from there once we get a little deeper in here. But uh, optimi optimization and settings. So um, we are always, this is going to be a thing throughout early access, is we're going to continuously be updating the game and optimizing it and making it better for people. Um, you know, we, we understand that everybody runs a different PC. Everybody runs different settings. You know, we want everybody to be able to enjoy the game how they want to play. Um, and we, you know, that's part of our goal is to make sure you can. We're also going to be introducing some of those other video options as well. Um, and, you know, I even talked to some of our designers this morning, and one thing they're working on is um, they're adjusting some of the, the key binds as well. Like, for instance, uh, the self-cast is one that uh, we didn't have the ability to change. That's going to be able to be changed in the very near future. Um, and then just some other ones. Like, uh, there was an issue where it didn't always remember your key binds right away after you saved it. Uh, William and I actually figured it out this morning mm -hmm. why it was messing up, and we should be able to fix that soon. So, well, so your community and you're doubling as QA and investigating the engineering there too. I don't know what nice. you're talking about. I, I just, we all wear a lot of hats here at, at QC Games, but it's so much fun. Like that, of that's the reason I We're, came and joined this company in the first place. Is that like you know, this game spoke to me initially even before I started talking to you in Dallas. You know, and that's the reason why a lot of us join here is this is such a, a new genre breaking experiment that, I mean, so far is super fun. And, you know, all these people in chat are having a ton of fun with it and leveling up and going, <laughs> sorry, I just saw a comment from somebody out of the corner of my eye and I was laughing at that. Um, oh, Remac key binds to mouse. That's another one that's, uh, that's on there from Newbie Cape newbie cake over a mixer uh yeah we're gonna add even though this mouse doesn't have it um because this is just a crappy mouse for the stream room oops uh by the way sponsorship opportunity is available now feel free to reach out to me at one letter on twitter um we're gonna be enabling um what is it mouse I always forget, mouse four and mouse five, those are the yeah. thumb buttons. Um, so those will be adjustable as well. I always forget, because yeah, mouse the mouse wheel is technically mouse three when you push down on it. Did you ever have a mouse, by the way, when you were younger that had the middle button was not a scroll wheel, but it was an actual button? 
Do you ever have one of those? Probably. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, because I totally did. Like when that first came out, I was like, "Oh my god, I have a third mouse button now." This I is had the I had thing. a mouse that was only just one button, and it was attached to this weird computer that I was like, "Never again will I be using computers like that." Really? I'm I mean, ta- I'm talking shit about Apple. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> See, I I used to use a trackball. Trackball yeah, yeah, mouse? I yeah. use that for a long time. No, I do the the mouse four, three, especially when I play MMOs and stuff like that. It's just like all eight are right there from right. thumb side. So, yeah, looking okay. forward to getting that in our game. Yep. Okay, uh, let's see. So let's continue going. Um, the next thing – well, actually, here, why don't uh, – why don't we take a few user questions first? Yeah, and by yeah. the way, we are planning to play a game at the end of this. Um, Gabe is signed into his account. So um, he's going to be playing today, not me. Is We're there actually, a delay? A delay on what? On the stream. Uh, very slightly. Like, I mean, Twitch and Mixer have gotten much better over No, time. I was just curious because about stream sniping or whatever. And, you know, if oh. I get selected as available. I just want to be prepared. That's all. I, 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 think, I think right now we're on the standard delay. So Mixer is measured in milliseconds. And Twitch, uh, I believe, is five seconds or less. All right, then. Um, right? Well, whatever. I, It'll be I fun. I think that's It'll it. It'll be fun. So, so uh, yeah, because I don't think we have the new Twitch option where it's like a super short delay. Um, so I think it's like five seconds or something like that. All right. Anyway, um, okay, that's a that's a good question, I guess, from a Delectabot. Um, are the items that leave the daily shop thing? <laughs> I just I'm reading it verbatim, by the way. Uh, never be available to purchase at a later date in a vault or something. Um, so we got we got uh, another Corey. He's sort of like in charge of that stuff, and to the best of my knowledge. A lot of them will rotate in and out. Um, if will every single one, I'm not sure. Um, but I think the most of them uh, will rotate in and out. Things that you definitely won't see again are there are exclusives, uh, like the uh, the season zero outfit, the um, uh, the alpha outfit, yep. the level 100 outfit. Like the exclusives, they're gone one time only to get that stuff. Yep. And uh, Wild G, who says, could you please give rewards per level gain instead of boost? Like, there will be level-based rewards in the future. Uh, we were talking about that earlier in the stream. So when we're done here, feel free to rewind back, uh, watch that earlier part of the stream. Uh, one other thing, I see Tenic over in Mixer asking, you know, game is PC only. Is it coming to other platforms in the future? The one thing we've always said, PC only for now. Oh, okay. That's what we've always said. Yeah. So, you know, stay tuned, maybe. But for now, PC only. That's it. Um, let's see what other, uh, why can't we see all the cosmetics in the shop? Um, so that's something we'd like to work on in the future as well. What do you, what do you, why can't we see all cosmetics in the shop? You mean every cosmetic that ever might appear in the shop? I don't, I, I think they mean an actual, um, full previews just from, um, cause some well, of no, the, when you click on them, it shows your avatar with wearing it or holding it or doing it. Right. But I think they're, um, they might mean in the thumbnail itself. Oh, in the thumbnail. if you mean in the thumbnail itself, yeah, we, we plan to improve the, the, the visible of the thumbnail, but, uh, oh, like elite skins. Yeah. Yes, elite skins is one of the exceptions yeah. where you can't see the elite skin, and yeah, we do, um, we do plan to fix that such that you get a better preview for it as well. But the outfits, when you click on it, it should show you what the outfit looks like with your character wearing it. Um, the same thing with weapon skins, uh, emotes, and yeah, because I guess the sprays and stuff, you know, yep. you just see what the decal looks like. Yep. Okay. Um, so let's talk about some of the upper tier builds that we've been seeing so far. And because um, we mentioned this a little oh, bit. Oh, really? In our, in I didn't our, know this um, one. Yeah. Oh, so, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So I, I noted a few of them here on our notes. The one we, we did mention Grail Cages. Yeah. Um, well, so let's slow down. I don't know how much you've already said out there. Because with the Grail Cage, with the Grail Cage, there definitely is an issue, and we're going to address it. I don't necessarily want to say it on stream because I don't want to spread it. I don't want people no, to do fine. it more. Than, than we already are, but there is there is an issue with it, um, and we will be addressing it for the Grail Cage spam. Because even though I'd argue, and I think a, a number of people do as well, when I was just kind of browsing the forums and whatnot, um, it's not really all that effective, but it's hell of annoying. Yeah. Um, well, for me, it, yeah. it is still a skill play. Yeah. Like yeah, that's yeah, the thing, because yeah. to get it with that cooldown rate and with the the reusability of mm-hmm, it of mm-hmm. gaining back your abilities, like you still have to get them in the cages. Like you can't just keep going you actually have to plan yeah out so your, the gist of it is we're, we're basically gonna get we're gonna adjust some stuff such that when you get them in the cage it's more of like an impactful moment as opposed to having a thousand cages that are less impactful yep so to speak all right so here we're 
You know what? Why don't we? Um, I'm trying to remember. Why don't we? Because um, I want to move past this then instead, and you know maybe we'll talk about some other things here. <laughs> All right. I, I was laughing at the. Uh, we should swap sides so that they can see this part. But we will be switching sides when you go to, to play. To see what part? They, w- they want to see the blonde oh, in my I see, hair. I Apparently see. they can see it in your camera. Yeah, I, yeah, I was yeah. laughing at that. Um, so uh, with, can, do we want to talk about that, uh, that Oros Gladiator one over there? Because um, that one we just know sometimes you do get slightly caught in the air at the end of an ability. Um, we are definitely always looking into that. Um, that's just one that's a little further down the road because it does work. We're gonna be doing but... we're gonna be doing an update um, to the Oros Gladiator and the Nighthawk um, to sort of harden and tune that as well as change a couple of the abilities is the plan. Um, generally speaking, like if you, it's one of those things that it's like yeah, there sometimes you get hung in the air, but you can kind of play around it as you get to know the nuances and when that happens. Yep. And definitely seen a lot of players doing that, but. Um, uh, overall, though, we're going to do a pass to smooth it out and um, change a couple of the interactions. Yep. Um, okay, so ready for the next topic? Okay. Okay, so I'm, I want to cover really quick. This is something that I'm working personally on, um, so this might be more of just me talking a bunch, but our partner program. Yeah. I think this is important. Um, I've seen some of our partners here in chat, um, some of our current partners, and thank you all for being here. Uh, we really appreciate you working with us. It's great to see your sprays in-game. And uh, and people being able to grab them. By the way, in chat, um, what spray are you using right now? Are you using any of our our partners? Um, because I know for me, like I keep switching between a handful of them. Um, but then I also want to show off my alpha spray a little bit. But we do have plans for all the people that have also emailed um, in. Well, not email, but applied for the partner program. Um, let's just say there was a lot more people that wrote in an application than I was expecting. And that feels great uh, from from a point of view of here, of setting this all up. Um, my plan is to email everybody by the end of day today just to let them know where they stand. Um, there is, because we are a small company. It's pretty much just myself and uh, Mr. Lobo Styles in here is helping me out with a lot of this. So Lobo, I know you're in chat, thank you. Um, but we're pretty much the ones getting this off the ground and running and as a small company, you know, and we're still trying to build the game, we're trying to ensure that we do everything right for our partners and offer them uh, potential opportunities and ways to grow with us along with the game. Because remember, our partner program isn't just about growing our game, we want to grow our partners. We want them to get awesome communities and build alongside with us. So I'm really excited about yeah, the I, future. I, I enjoy jumping in and uh, playing playing some games with some of the streamers. Let's get more of that going. Like I kind of did it ad hoc yep. over the weekend. I think I was playing with uh, Fit Gamer and Tiger Stripe, a couple others. Yep. But uh, yeah, this weekend I plan to um, uh, to lurk. Is that the word? Mm-hmm. Lurk and, and, and try to get in a couple games. Yep. And if you're looking for a link to the partner program, if you are a content creator, if you go to playbreach.com and go to the news section, um, I actually, I moved the date up a little bit so that it appears higher in the list. So it looks like it was posted two days ago, but it was actually posted a while ago. So you should be able to find it really quickly in the news section. So thank you to everybody that applied. I will do my best to get back to everybody, but there were way more people that applied than uh, I had assumed, which is both a blessing and a curse. So, um, Jay Blaze just asked, did the update already happen with the gold increase? Yes, um, we did that earlier this morning at 8 a.m. Uh, Central Time. That's already in. It's applied. Um, download, play, enjoy, um, and then we'll we'll keep going. Um, so, now it's time for the thing. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The thing. Go for it. Do you, Do you want to reveal this, or should I, or what? This one right here. Yes. All right, we're gonna have a invitational tournament. Yep. What? Uh, I don't have how many details. Sound. How many details do you want to give? Blah, I, I blah, want to give blah, all blah. the details, but but you uh, hold me back. Yeah. So so we're still lining up people. Um, Lobo and myself have been reaching out to some of our partners and some of the players already uh, that we've been seeing. And we're actually working with some various potential sponsors and other things. We're not going to cover too many details here because we're still finalizing availability and potential prizes. And the hardest thing of all, just, you know, legal rules, because unfortunately, that's 
part of you know life so we and, got we got a few more logistics yep. but uh it's gonna be fun do we want to talk about format at all so i think we can talk about format i all think right. that's fun so um do you want to do you want to cover like the basic format of uh of so the basic format is it'll be kind of a um you know we'll have a, a number of different teams i guess uh, you guys are working with uh certain people in the invitational for team captains yep. and then they kind of select their teams mm -hmm. and then uh every team is going to be of course matched up against another team and there'll be a home and an away game and the idea is that your sort of home game you're playing as the heroes and then the other team uh they select someone to play as the veil demon mm -hmm. and then um, if you win both home and away game, you win. If it's a 1-1, one, one, then it's going to be determined by uh, progress. And if progress is the same, then it's time. And yep. progress means how far you got into it. So, But if you, if you both got just as far in both matches and that sort of, I guess, edge case, then it'll go by time at that point. Yep. One of the, the tricks to the rule, though, is that uh, the captains, they have uh, four people, I guess, three or four people. Well, e each each team is going to be five. Each team's going to be five, And yeah. the captains will have to choose a team of four heroes and one Veil Demon. And that's how it's going to be, is it'll be your team's four heroes against the other team's Veil Demon, and then they'll switch... And you can't, and then of course, as you go through the brackets, mm -hmm. uh, you can't be the same veil demon. You can't do twice. Well, that's that's one of the interesting things that we're still working through. Is that's that, true because that, it depends on how many times, how many matches, and whether or not there's a loop around. So that might be yep. the rule set, but yeah. we'll see. So about that's that. one of the. That's yeah. why I said like we're not ready to fully announce everything yet, but this is where we're going, and you know we're we're really going to have some fun with this, and um, the people that we've already talked to about it seem you know. Seems like it's going to have a amps. lot of fun. It's going to be fun. Yeah. And um, I, oh, and, and then, by the way. And then at the end. At oh, the well, end, I, really oh, quick okay. before I get all there. Right, right, um, right. We are also working with some potential fun sponsors because what, what we want to do is make it, it's not just going to be a prize for the winning team. Um, it's, there's also going to be prizes for everybody that watches or, you know, or a way for you to win prizes. That's what we're trying to set up in the back end right now. But why don't you cover yeah. what happens to the team that gets to the end? Okay, so the team that gets first place, obviously they're going to get the first place prize. Mm -hmm. But then there's going to be another match against me and four other devs here at uh, QC Games. Yep. And we're actually doing an internal kind of tournament to see who are the who, who are the people on that team. Yep. So I'm interested to see who's going to end up there. I have my personal thoughts of who's going to be on the all-star team. And... Um, and if we're gonna get slaughtered, or if they're gonna slaughter, I, you know, I, it's it'll be fun. It'll be fun, and yeah. we we might get slaughtered because there's definitely some people that I'm seeing out there that are pretty badass. Yeah. So, um, and then at the same point, you know, we're there will be certain rules and regulations and blah blah blah, and hopefully there will be a bonus prize if they manage to beat us. Um, you know, maybe maybe we can send them something. I, I've sure, got some yeah, yeah, fun yeah. stuff sitting on my shelf over there that maybe we can do, but. But I think it'll be fun. Um, this is meant to just be a really fun, watchable event. We are planning to, like, we'll stream it right here on our Breach channels, and we're working on ways of, um, since there is no spectate mode, um, this is mostly going to be, you know, we're we're going to be watching all the various streamers and then talking over how everything's going. So, um, again, more details on that hopefully next week. We're trying to finalize everything right now, including the actual dates, the times, and uh, all of our partners that are going to be working with us. So. I'm pretty happy about that. I, I think it's going to be fun. If uh, world, I can't pronounce that. World Vias, World yeah. Vias. If uh, if he's in it and then and then he wins, he wants me to shave this off and then uh, donate it to him. Yep. <laughs> so so this will be fun. This is just you know a fun side thing to do uh, while we're continuing through early access and everything like that. Um, the nice thing is like you know it's just going to be it's just going to be fun and showcasing the game and. Yeah, it's some yeah. real enjoyment here. So um, I want to ask really quick before we start up the game. Mm -hmm. Oh, and by the way, we'll also announce the captains when we announce the the full um, when the full do you, tournament. When do you itself. plan to do that? Sometime. Hopefully next week. Early we're next week? again, we're finalizing all of this behind the scenes right now, so we'll we'll figure that out. Um, what I what I wanted to ask you is: there anything else you wanted to add from this list, or should we uh, start building up the game here? Um, yeah, up. yeah. let's open the game. I, um, I think we covered it all. Okay, so um, I'm going to open the game here really quick, and then I'm going to have to move over to my left. Um, what is this? When the devs lose, one letter goes full blonde. Man, you don't want to see me full blonde. I've done that before. Um, for those that don't know, I, my hair hasn't been its natural color since I was like 15. 
it's always been something weird. So I don't know. It's fun. <laughs> it gives me something to do. All right, let me uh, let me load this up. Um, is there going to be a way for us to sign up as a free agent? So I don't know. Maybe. Um, our goal is once we announce the captains, maybe, you know, there are people you probably already know and might already be playing with. And if you're a, a you know, a member of the community on our Discord channel or, um, you know, with us in any sense of the word, maybe they already know who you are. Maybe they want to recruit you. We'll see. I think it'll be fun. But hey, um, so we're going to switch sides really quick. I'm going to go over there and switch to the game and I'm going to move my drink over there so that nothing crazy happens i'll be right back let me switch us over and then uh if you want to start if you want to start customizing and sure uh, sure. oh right we were going to hold on am i grouping am i grouping with anyone or i'm just playing myself Uh, full screen ultra okay we're good there uh well let me switch over first and then we'll uh maybe we'll make it a fun challenge okay all right oh wow look at you all right 34 50 on your way to season zero (laughs) <laughs> it's a lot further along than I am. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, we're going to be showing this so everyone sees my count. Yep. <laughs> okay, let me put those there. Okay, feel free to swap over. And let's go to this. Let me get some game audio going. Uh, do you want to do a quick slash or something on there? I want to check the game audio. Can you hear it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm slashing. Oh, I'm slashing. Sounds good to me. Okay. Yeah, that should give you game audio. And then I'm coming back over here. Okay. <laughs> Newbie Cake says, I'm going to need that transition. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, uh, here, if you want to move that cord over, and you can. Oop, there we go. Okay. We're trying to get this all. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, there's a lot of cords and wires that, you know, isn't always conducive to, uh, to streaming. Oh, and now I have this camera up here, which is nice. So so what are your plans here? Um, what are I you don't thinking? know. Well, I, I guess what are we doing as far as um, just me or? I'd say why don't we match make um, and let's just see maybe who we where, end up where with. Where I end up with. Yeah, them. so why don't we, um, if everybody wants to, here, I'll let them get ready. We'll do a little countdown and we'll say everybody who wants to play. Um, Q? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Everybody Q. It doesn't work exactly like that, but it, it increases the chances at least. I know. But at the same point, it might be kind of funny because then at least a whole bunch of people will get in games really quick. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So um, let me know when you're ready and then we'll give everybody oh, I'll just like. Jump. I'll just jump on it. Oops, okay. Wrong thing. Okay. Ready? Hold on. Oh. Shit. Okay, go. <laughs> Sorry. I can jump late. back out. No, nah, it's, it's fine. Right. Um, we should. Oh, there it is. Hey, who'd we get? And what side am I on? Dun, 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 dun. I hope you're Veil Demon. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, sorry about that little delay there. Hey, come on, number five. I haven't been able to play Veil Demon that much because um, um, we don't have a Veil Demon only. <laughs> 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 so some of them are not leveled up where I want them to be okay. just yet. All right. Let's um, see. Okay, who's in there? If you're in chat and you're there, let us know. I, I recognize a couple of these names. All right, I guess I'll be the heels. In a pug, you always need heels. <laughs> oh, there we go. It's a me. We got one in there. Everybody it's else is saying Snipe failed. Is that the name? It's yeah. on me. Nope. Uh, Caesar, no. Caesar is in our chat, so Caesar is definitely there. All right. What about what about uh, L's highs? I haven't seen L's in our list here, but they could be. They could also be under a random other name. So I don't know. Also, everybody, uh, is the the audio levels between us talking and the game okay? Otherwise, I'll race over there and fix it. But hopefully, it should be fine. I tried listening to it over there. Looks like a stock veil shifter, which is on free rotation this week. So mm-hmm. he's probably not too far into that one would be my guess. Yep. All right. Your turn. Well, what are you running with in terms of gems? Well, if we want to see it, um, 
Yeah, can't wait till we get to where you can buy two of a gem. We got mm-hmm. that one coming up soon as well. Yep. So I've got uh, the ultimate accrual stuff for my elemental quintessence that I swapped in on the mender, um, and then health because I didn't get another uh, level up or ultimate accrual one more or less. Um, this for some zoning control, yep. um, obviously for boosting the heals as well as some fun quick escapes, those two. And I got timed out locked in. Yep. Um, That's okay. No... Uh, Nothing on the way of needing to swap in purification, which I guess I would do sometimes, but yep. not too often. Uh, also, uh, Worldvious, yes. All of these streams are uh, archived. We VOD them, and we also up- upload them uh, to YouTube just for depending on where you want to watch them. So um, I believe Mixer saves them, Twitch saves them, and then we throw them on YouTube. Are you going to be okay there with the cords and everything? Um, you know, it's um, – um, oh, oh, shit. Oh, sorry. It's I cursed okay. on stream. We're not fa- um, We're not so family the friendly. Season, the Season Zero outfit there. I noticed, so that means that person's probably quite the high level. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now I'm embarrassed with my 30-some wins. All right. <laughs> let, me, uh, let me go double-check the cameras, make sure we're not showing you being all weird, and then we should be good to go. You're more than welcome to lean back if you want or lean forward. All right. How are you doing over there? I'm good. You asking me? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. I raised the game audio a little. See, normally, normally our producer Brian is here helping us, but he's out with the flu, unfortunately. But he is in chat. I see him there. What up, Brian? I see you, Balgosa. <laughs> All right, here we go. Who's the runner? Room number one. Oh wow, your Veil Demon is level 81. He's been playing a lot. Oh, okay, I guess I'll just go there. Yeah, I was going to say, everybody's just ignoring uh, ignoring the objective there. No, I think he already grabbed one. Uh, no, that was the first one. Oh, seriously? Yeah. Oh, my God, I thought he ran through to grab He might have got he might have got Veil shifted, which knocked it out of possession and reset it there. That's true. I think that's what happened. Yep. So I should not be the one carrying <laughs> the thing. I should be healing peeps, but yep. I guess no one's carrying it. That's funny. Brian just wrote back. I'm in. I'm in bed watching. Like, hope you feel better. You know, flu's not fun. So, but it's okay. I'm. I'm holding down the fort here. I'm turning all the knobs and pressing all the buttons. Um, we also do have an Elgato stream deck. So thank you, Elgato, for uh, helping us out with that. They also provide us with a capture card for this build. So again, Elgato, awesome. Uh, make sure to check them out. Um, now, if I can just get them to send me that new light kit, uh, I'd be super happy about that. <laughs> All right, how you doing, Gabe? Oh, good. What, oh, ten oh, seconds. Oh, did he get? Did he get? Oh, he yeah. got knocked. See oh, that well. build demon knows what he's doing. Yeah, I guess he's so. keeping the guys away. All right then. Yep. <laughs> yep. All right, time to explore the next sector and move on. See, but this is what happens. Sometimes, you know, the veil demon can have preventative measures over what seems like a pretty straightforward objective. And I know the mouse that we're using here is not the greatest of mice, but it's okay. We're we're going to be getting some better uh, some better hardware here soon. That's the seal. Now how do we make sure Rob okay. doesn't break through? Give it more I expect you guys somehow. to be able to clear this room relatively quickly. Alright, by the way, uh, if anybody in chat has some uh, if anybody in chat has some potential uh, questions, feel free to, a- to ask them, and I'll do my best to answer them while Gabe is uh, here making sure that he wins. Oh, yeah, the camera. That's true. The camera is covering up the timer right now. Uh, you know what? Here, I'm going to go turn off our cameras, and we'll just show gameplay. One second. Okay, there. That better? Uh oh. Back into the back into the void. Back into the void with the uh, the sight cursed as well. Mm. So I got to remember there the location I got knocked out of. I love that combo, by the way. Um, the whole like being thrown and then not actually being able to see the exit. I think that's a really fun thing, especially if you're throwing people a mile down some stairs or something. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's important to remember where. Um, 
<laughs> Where you got knocked from? Everybody's now saying we can't see Gabe's, go the, Gabe's glorious beard now that we've turned the cameras <laughs> off. I'm sorry. Well, I'll turn them back on momentarily. But I think everybody wants to see uh, the actual timers and the objectives a little more than my face right now. All right. Uh, and, yeah, we are playing with people right now. All of these are actual living beings <laughs> as far as we know. Yeah, uh, we're, on, we're on live. We just yeah. uh, queued solo, yep. more or less. At least two of them are in our chat here. So, dun, 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 dun. Uh, Bloody Pugs, we are aware of uh, that game ending screen thing. Uh, it's definitely on our list of fixes. Um, so thank you, though, for bringing that up. Much appreciated. Uh, is there a plan to make rewards focused on the character type we play? So, yes, um, that's potentially part of the, uh, the... So you should, at the end of the oh. match, um, get one based on the, the school of magic that you're in. So I should get at least one um, arcane school of magic equipment item mm -hmm. at the end of the match, and then one from a random other school or veil demon or whatever. Right. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if occasionally there's a bug and that doesn't happen, but let's uh, let's check it out here. Yeah, but that the majority the of the time it should. Yeah, that's the intention. Yep, and then also when we eventually get to our challenges system, that will add in uh, more potential options as well for unlocks and, you know, getting things. Uh, hey, Play Breach, what are the chances of getting a Gabe's Beard spurring game? Hmm. <laughs> I, I'd say it's pretty high. That actually reminds me, we need... Um, uh, Dallas sent me an image of the Breach logo that was um, drawn by uh, someone in his family that I really want to add in uh, as a spray. I won't go into too many details just for you know him, but it, it's probably one of my favorite Breach logos that I've seen in terms of fan art. So when the Veil Demon um, Veil Sight cursed me, I wasn't sure if his uh, uh, Veil Rift was on cooldown, so I put my back up against the wall. Right. And that's always a nice thing because then they they really can't toss you anywhere. As long as your yeah, as long as your back's up against the wall enough, they can't really get the angle to push you out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, ETM VD only queue. We do not have a specific time for that. We discussed that earlier in the stream. If you want to go back and watch, but it is definitely one of our top priorities, and we're we're working forward towards turning on uh, the Veil Demon only and uh, Hero only queues. So, thanks. All right, so. What's your goal here? Because you got to get a lot of these, uh, a lot of these beacons. It, I always find this objective to either be like really easy or really difficult. I never really, for some odd reason, I never feel like this is in between. Like I, I either ooh, that's oh. a good little pump there. Yeah, it was. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use <laughs> my ult. Let's see where everyone's outside. Uh, I guess not. Yeah, these um, uh, Veil Shrouds are definitely great at sort of uh, shutting down my contribution to the DPS yep. being ranged, which is uh, was a good play by him, especially folks in the area here. But the rest of them are in close. I just got to get in there. Fortunately, my uh, my mend is AE, so it passes through. These Shrouds just block uh, direct projectiles. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got about 15 seconds left. Let's see what happens here. You guys got 26. I'm sure somebody's hogging a bunch of them. Oh, 33. You turned yours in. Come on, somebody else turn in. Oh, there they go. Uh, Seven with five seconds to go. Two more. And you nice. did it. There you go. Nice. That the, du the double dodge talent is a is a great counter to Veil Rift because, you know, for the cost of one dodge, you dodge twice, and you can cover that distance in two dodges. Usually, obviously, if you get pushed off a... A ledge or something like that um, mm -hmm. then you're you know hopefully you got some other answers for that but um, yep the normal distance uh, two dodges usually covers it <laughs> I like that uh, uh, Fatimir in our chat just said randoms doing objectives what <laughs> <laughs> see this is what happens when you get a team of a uh, dual understanding oh, oh no I was I was I was I was so into making my point I wasn't paying attention to my health to be fair you're also a healer so you know the veil demons should be probably going after you more than anybody else <laughs> uh, let's see what time of timeline are you looking at releasing new classes and veil demons so um, for
for that question, Gambler, um, make sure to check out our roadmap um, that we've put on our website, on our Steam page, and a couple other places. It shows our approximate timeline for releasing uh, new classes in Veil Demons. Uh, Pyromancer is definitely going to be our next. We'll just put that out there right away. Um, we hope to have more details on that very soon. Oh, and uh, Fatimir, thank you for linking the roadmap. Much appreciated. <laughs> And I see some people talking about uh, other Veiled Demon skins. I can say there are people internally that uh, that we're looking into some uh, some fun uh, Veiled Demon skins or other skins for the elites as well. Um, that can be something in the future. Uh, in terms of giveaways, we haven't done any here, but we might do a giveaway uh, right after this match. I'm trying to think of the perfect thing to give away because I have a couple options. Some of my picks here, I got the default picks, but because he's really using these shrouds well, I'm not going to bother with the basic attacks because he's shutting those down pretty well. Right. I think, And he doesn't really have a slow action yeah. going on, so I'm probably just going to go with that health potion and the revive. I was going to say, that that's probably the one I would go with in this sense. In case of emergency, in case next time that I'm, uh, I'm chatting about something and not paying attention, I can mm -hmm. at least come back from it. Yep. So I'm trying to think what I can give away. You know, here, here's something. Maybe, maybe I'll be charitable with our giveaway. How many of you know about our Game Changer uh, charity that we're doing right now? Um, I think that's a really awesome thing. We've been working with them behind the scenes. Um, if you go to our website, playbreach.com, you can, in the news section, you'll find details about it. It's also in the launcher. Uh, if you look in the left side and hit the little left right arrows, um, you'll see it. But essentially, if you donate either $5, $10, or $12 to the Game Changer charity organization, um, you will get either a spray in-game, you will get an outfit in-game, or you'll get both if you do the, uh, the combo bonus. Um, I think it's it's one of my per I really like the color green um, so I really like that outfit personally um, and you can see details you can see the skin and the spray and everything like that and that is a hundred percent charitable donation um, you know you don't have to do anything besides donate um, and then you'll get your skin probably with or whatever you purchase within about 24 to 48 hours they have all the codes they're sending them out uh, to people that donate I believe it's only going for about four or five more days so make sure to get those donations in before time is up. Um, what if I give away... I was debating giving away two of those, and I would donate my personal money there. But I think it's better to just everybody go and donate your own, and then maybe... I'm trying to think, what what do I have I could give away? Maybe a t-shirt. I could maybe do a t-shirt. Ooh, nice, nice ult there. Yeah, I was trying to just zone it to get a little bit more progress on this. Mm -hmm. Hoping to deny him of his fourth pick, but it's not looking good on that front. Yep. For those of you looking for the Game Changer charity outfit, um, we put a tweet out about it on uh, Twitter slash Play Breach. Um, there's an article on the news site about it. Um, make sure to uh, go check that out. Um, Playbreach.com slash news. We can go from there. Uh, will, the, will there always be four-man teams or are there plans for six hero against two Veil Demons? So right now our first mode is the 4v1. Um, that's what this is right here and you can play 4v1 either with a various multitude of bots or uh, human players depending on your preference. We are obviously planning other modes um, in the future. Uh, one of those is that... Um, Look at that 1020 heal when you stack the haste and the guardian <laughs> sprite. Sorry to interrupt. No, it's fine. Go ahead. Yeah, you can get that mend up to 1020 per charge. Yep. So, um, uh, I totally lost about? my train of thought there. Were you talking about Game Changer? Or were you yeah, talking about? Uh, no, we were talking about um, Brawl Mode. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and, you know, we've discussed that a bit in the past. Uh, that's a little further down the road, but um, that should be a really fun mode when that comes out. I'm, I'm looking forward to, to bringing that out. So there will be different modes in the future. For now, you know, 4v1 is our first mode, but we're definitely looking to others. Uh, I see some... Oh, go ahead. Yeah, we're working on, we're working on a 5v5 uh, mode like you were talking about there. Mm -hmm. Brawl is actually the idea of, like, hey, we're going to do a bunch... It's, it's sort of like we're going to rotate in a bunch of different crazy modes. Um, and see kind of which ones stick. 5v5 is the first of the brawl modes. We've also got other ideas of um, craziness that probably people will be upset about me saying more than I already have. 
Yep, let's um, let's save that for future streams. Sure, yeah. Alright. Um, let's see. Change keybinds for gamepad. So we discussed that earlier. Um, right now, you know, controller support is still in its infancy. Um, we do plan to add more controller support as we go, especially uh, in menu navigation. That'll that's something on the future roadmap as well. Um, you know, we have that as an option. Oh, that was actually that was a lucky bounce there. That was. Um, but we do plan on adding um, more adjustments to keybinds in general for both keyboard and mouse and for uh, controller. So thank you everybody who's you know. <laughs> I like this. One hilarious idea I had. Battle Royale, 80 heroes versus 20 Veil Demons. And it goes to the last hero standing in the VD with the most kills. That's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I guess I'll use a health potion. I mean, Sorry. you're still at five. Uh, yeah. So Your team's doing pretty well here, though. Um, I don't know. Uh, what was it? Two-thirds health left on the boss, I believe? Yep. Yeah, about two-thirds. So we're getting there. Oh, about a balloon tower defense mode. <laughs> All right, I got my. Um, By the way, if we're you guys not... are in the stream. I got my uh, ult. Oh, there it goes. Uh, I was gonna say really quick. By the way, that battle royale thing, like that's not gonna happen. Uh, <laughs> like we're. There's we're, plenty of those games out there. Yeah, we're we're good being what we are. So, we have some fun modes planned, but I I always joke that we would do four v one v four v one v four v one v four v one. Oh my god! As you get cursed. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, the, the Veil Shifter is definitely a great counter to ranged and even uh, ranged mm -hmm. healing. Oh. Probably should have picked an Occultist, but Occultist is a, is a phenomenal healer if you have a coordinated team. Mm -hmm. And I just wasn't sure about this team because I didn't know anyone, so that's why I went with the safer bet, but the Occultist, or I'm sorry, but the uh, Veil Shifter definitely makes it difficult. Yep, you guys are starting to really uh, chip away at the boss here, though, so that's good. You're down to about a third now. Just gotta get my next ult up. Yep. But you still have four health potions, and I'm looking at your teammates there. A couple of them are a little low, but yeah, there's still a fair amount of health potions, so I have a feeling. And I, I do have. Oh, shit. I do have the prismatic gem, and that makes my mend a tad bit um, hasten the. the well, I, I was waiting for that little strike to happen and he was gonna go down there so but the ult saves the day what was i saying uh you're saying something your about prismatic gem. oh yeah i got the prismatic mend. gem for yes. for the men to make it um should i did that out of order mm -hmm. um longer cooldown but a bit stronger yep <laughs> okay getting there uh, In-game voice win. So we actually. Oh no! <laughs> did it bug out? Um, I'm getting immune scrolls. Shit! It did bug out. Yeah, we we have this on our internal uh, bug list. So um, this is something that we're definitely trying. But it should be able to. Uh, can't you still attack it? It it. I'm I'm getting immune float tech. So. Mm. Uh, it looks like you're defeating the boss though. Okay, now it is. Now, yeah, now, the so, now you're fine. so there was a delay on that immunity. Dude, yeah. you got. <laughs> he got wrecked there. Yeah, but he's got, he's yeah. got health potions. He's not using them. Oh, sorry. So, uh, to get back to the in game voice. So, we had Discord integrated during Alpha. Um, that was definitely there, but we found some issues with it uh, in our final alpha test before we moved into early access So we've disabled it uh, for the time being we do not have an ETA of when it's coming back because we want to make sure that if we roll it back out um, It's working properly um, for in the meantime. Oh, there it is <laughs> GG um, In the meantime, uh, you can definitely join our discord discord.gg slash play breach um, and join us there and I'm actually gonna switch back over to some cameras here while you finish up and talk about your end results stream. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Went pretty well. It was a victory in the end, so that's all good. Yep. Who'd you upload? I missed it. Uh, the Veiled Demon. Oh, okay. 
I usually do, especially if it's a, a good match. All right, so um, we actually, unfortunately, we have to end this stream because we have a very important meeting we have to get to in about a minute. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah, okay don't okay. worry. I am cognizant of the time here. This was actually the perfect amount of time. for. Oh, and that worked, right, with your loot? No, no, it, it, uh, as far as what? Your no, loot? no, no. Actually, yeah, yeah, so that's, uh, so sometimes it doesn't. Yep, so that's something that we're, we yeah. need to look into, of yeah. course. Yeah, so um, what we're going to do is... Oh, you know what? I think I think it's I think it's like a high chance. I think that's what we settled on. I'll, I'll double check with okay. the crew. As in, like, there's a 75% chance you get something of your class, but otherwise you gotcha. get something of another class. Okay, I, I don't remember what the exact uh, yeah, ending yeah. is either there. So, But um, so what we're going to do before we leave, and I'm going to let Gabe probably leave because he has to go to that meeting. I'm going to give everybody, um, let's call it a minute, to do exclamation point giveaway. Only type it once, just once. If you type it more than once, you're not eligible to win. And I'm gonna give you a t-shirt. Um, let me let me go find that t-shirt. Oh, the meeting is right now. Yeah, that's why I said Hey, it's been fun. Uh, <laughs> I loved hanging out with everyone, uh, doing the match and whatnot. Uh, yep. I'd love to do more of that stuff too. All right. um, Later. Signing off. Yep. Thanks, Gabe. I'll see you in there because I'm in that meeting, too. All right. <laughs> I'm going to log out of my account here. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, you can just leave that up there. That's right. fine. Okay. Thank you, Gabe. Okay. Appreciate it. Have a good one. All right. And now I'm all alone. Hold on. I'm going to, I'm going to switch over here. This is what happens when I work by myself. Okay. Okay, I'm back. So, uh, this is a size small, by the way. But, yeah. So this will be a blue one. Um, okay, everybody ready? I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick a winner here in a moment. Yeah, and the giveaway is on the Mixer side. Um, for those wondering too, it's on both Mixer and Twitch. Um, don't worry about it, I'm looking at everything. But if you typed it more than once, I'm automatically timing you out. Um, that, was, that was the kind of key thing here. So, okay, dun, dun, dun. This is just me in full screen camera. This isn't weird at all. Okay, oh no, what happened to the bot scroll bar? Oh no, <laughs> the scroll bar isn't working. Hmm, okay. You know what I'm gonna have to do? <laughs> the button isn't working uh, to choose somebody. So, huh, yeah, fail on my part here, fail on my bot. Um, you know what? I'm going to pick a random person from chat because I have the whole list of Mixer and Twitch. And I'm, wait, am I not being shown on camera right now? Hold on. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's working. I'm good. Ah, all of you just messing with me. See, this is what happens when I'm working by myself. Uh, okay, I'm going to pick a random person. We're going to go with... Da, 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 da. Okay, I'm just going to close my eyes and scroll. And I'm looking through everybody. And we're going with... Ooh, stop scrolling. Uh, tra Trahun on Mixer. Trahun on Mixer. Um, you happen to win out of all these people that were entering uh, from my random scrolling with my mouse wheel here. So congratulations over there. Um, I think I'm pronouncing your name right. I will reach out to you after this stream and get your address and I will mail you out a shirt in your size of choice. Hopefully you fit between a small and a 2XL because that's all I have. So if you're above a 2XL or below a small, I apologize in advance, but you can either then wear it as a cutoff or as a nightgown. So thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Um, thank you all. Trahoon, I'll send you a message. It'll either be on my one letter account or it'll be on um, uh, the Play Breach account. We'll figure it out. Anyway, thanks, everybody. Have a good one. I'm going to go walk over there, stage left or right. I don't know which way it is. And we're going to shut off the stream. Have a good one. Thank you so much for tuning in. 